we have this conversation every time we do this. What was that decision for you? How hard was like at some point you had to make the decision and choose between the two? When did you make that decision? It was tough, but it wasn't because my mom made it for me. Oh, uh, okay. Appreciate your mom, Dukes. Man. <laughs> the big dog. The big dog. <laughs> Appreciate you. There's a funny Appreciate story with that. So my mom had an agreement with me. Uh, you know, whoever recruits you first, basketball or football, that's what we're sticking with. Right? Okay. Oh, so okay. She kind of put an ultimatum on it because my brothers always, they were straddling the fence. Like my, mm -hmm. my oldest brother was really good at both. Yeah. I feel like he should have hooped, but he wanted to play football. So he went to school for football. Gotcha. Second brother, for sure football. Mm -hmm. But to go through that process, my mom was like, all right, whoever go, you know, offer you, that's what we sticking with. So mm -hmm. I'll never forget, I was in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. The first coach interested in me, I'll never forget, was Bruce Weber at Illinois. Okay. I was at a random tournament back home in St. Louis, and he came and watched. He called my parents, put me on the phone. He said, listen, I don't offer eighth graders. Mm -hmm. He said, it's something I, I just, I've never done it. I know there's coaches out there that do it. He said, I don't do it. But the minute that you become a high schooler, he said, I'm offering you. Right? I'm saying, okay, That's cool. Tough. That's great. Literally about two, about a month after that, right, I had a, my high school coach, the, the school I was going to, I'm in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. So my high school coach, Calls my mom, yo, I want to take Bradley to the University of Kansas for the team camp. Okay. They're having team camp. So she's like, okay, yeah, whatever. She's like, he's going with the JV team? She's like, he's like, no, he's going with the varsity team. He's coming with me with the varsity team. So I'm like, oh, okay. Say less. Eighth grader, I'm like, why me? You know, yeah, but right. Not thinking enough, I'm going to do my thing. So it's crazy enough. To, <laughs> he starts me. And I kid you not, I average 25 a game. Jeez. As an eighth grader going into freshman year. And I'm kind of like having like out of body experiences. Yeah, like yeah, when yeah. I'm up there, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, <laughs> you damn I'm doing stuff I'm like surprising myself I'm doing. And sure enough, we win a championship. No idea how, but we win a championship. I get home. My first phone call, I, I'm not home for five minutes. It's Bill Self. Is this Bradley Bill? Yes, sir. Are your parents there? Yeah, they're right here. Mm -hmm. Can you put on speaker so that everybody can hear? I said, yes, sir. Bradley, I'm not going to waste your time offering you a scholarship. Damn. You ain't even stepped on a high school. I didn't step, I didn't even step foot into high school. Yet. So <laughs> what? I got an offer going into my freshman year. So in my head, I'm like, okay, I got, this is, and I got like excited. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool. I don't really, I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he so I hang up the phone, right? And I call my AAU coaches. Right, like you said, St. Louis Eagles, yeah. who I give my everything to. So Coach Gray, our founding president, he, he passed away in 2017, rest his soul. He, I called him, I said, Coach Gray, I'm finna commit to Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, it's over. Straight like that. <laughs> it's done. Like, he said, no, you can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> hey, 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 hold your horses, 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 young man. Like, you young ass. Process. <laughs> young, I know you're excited, <laughs> but, you know, let's, let's go through the whole thing. I'm like, man, what we waiting on? Oh, wait, no, this came up a championship. No, it ain't like, it's, it's Kansas. It's, it's Kansas. Kansas. Yeah, it's it's Kansas. Kansas. four hours from the house. Like, oh, you at the crib. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm right at home. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, man, okay. So mom, she look at me. She's like, all right, that's it. No more football. I said, dang. And I and a, a big part of my heart dropped. I'm like, damn. That's true. Like, yeah. yeah. I want to, I'm like, I want to play football. And mind you, my two younger brothers, they're two years younger than me. Mm -hmm. So I would have gotten a chance to play with play them with in them. high school. Yeah. So when I was a senior, my mom, my little brother started as freshmen when I was a junior, mm -hmm. right? Which took me by surprise too. So my senior year, no, I'm sorry, the end of my junior year, they lost in state or like going to state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My mom was so mad. She walked right to me, said, You can play football next year. Damn. I said, Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, back in yeah, it. I'm back yeah, in it. There we go. So we back in it. Yes, let's do it. I'll never forget y'all. First day of practice. I get my equipment. I got my helmet. I'm geek. Walk down the hill to practice. We doing drills, exercise. Next thing I know, I see this black lady walking down the hill, like storming down the hill. I'm like, is that my mom's? She walked right to coach, get his ass. I got to go. Come here. Let me, let me, he let me, let me. Yeah. I'm like, Mom, you told me. Nah, uh, uh. 
It was in the moment. I was in the moment. It was exactly what it was. I was in the moment. I was emotional. I was excited. I was mad. Y'all lost, but mm-mm, son. Come off the floor. Listen, Come off you, the field. You can't tell no 17-year-old something like that. Nah, that facts. If they want to do, they going to go do it. They going to go do it for you know, sure. So I I, I kind of was mad at my mom for a long time. <laughs> I see. And I, so the, and the, sick, the ending to the story with, with moms and and showing me where to go and how I made that decision. So she took football off the table, so I didn't play football my sophomore, junior, senior year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As I'm going through the process, nobody knows this. I've only told like a handful of people this. Mm-hmm. I committed to Florida my sophomore year. The only people yeah. that knew was me and Billy Donovan. My parents didn't know, my brothers didn't know, my friends didn't know, my high school coach didn't know, my AAU coaches didn't know. Only me and Billy Donovan. They just came off two championships. I loved how he recruited me. And the biggest thing for me was, he said, Brad, I'm not guaranteeing you're going to start. I'm not guaranteeing you playing time. He said, but two things I will guarantee, you'll come here and work hard every day to get better, and you will become a man, will be a man by the time you leave. Mm. That's very important. Right, versus every other coach, I'll give you this, give you playing time, Mm -hmm. give your parents this, new house, car, all stuff we couldn't get. Right, right. So I'm like... No, I like that. I'm I'm going to play for him. And you knew it from the get-go. I knew from the Mm get-go. Like, that's who I want to play for. It's fall, and y'all know what we're doing every Sunday, watching football. And DraftKings is the number one place to bet on touchdowns because they are an official partner of the NFL. As always, DraftKings is blessing y'all. New customers who bet just as little as $5 get $200 in bonus bets instantly. And you know what to do. Go to DraftKings right now. Download the app and use our promo code RACE. If sports betting is not available in your state, don't worry. DraftKings has daily fantasy. And if you're going to use the Sportsbook app, use promo code RACE. DraftKings, the crown is yours.